there, welcome to the Morning Shred brought to you by Snowboards.net. I'm Jenna, I've got Levi from Burton here, and we're going to talk about the Malavita EST. So Levi, who's this binding really designed for? You got a lot going on there. Yeah, this uh, right here is designed for me, I think. Um, <laughs> this is one of my favorite bindings in the line. This is what I throw on most of the setups I take out. Uh, it's a super advanced binding um, as far as technology, but for your intermediate to advanced park rider, basically. Okay. Um, awesome new feature that I love talking about on this thing is called the hinge. It's actually happening right here in the base of the binding. There's a pin running through the heel part here that allows the binding to have a little side-to-side -side movement that kind of mimics your motion as you ollie on, say, a skateboard or anything. You're allowed to roll back towards the tail a little bit and then snap forward. So. Um, that's an awesome feature that uh, was just added to this binding this year. Also a great new feature on this binding this year that I always love talking about is the heel hammock back in here. This is a rubberized section that basically stretches around the back of your boot and I can attest to this thing working. Um, one time I was grabbing stale fish behind my legs there and as I let go of the grab I accidentally unbuckled my binding, um, the ankle strap. As I landed, that heel hammock actually held my boot down nice. enough to allow me to stop and re rebuckle my bindings. And I guess that's a good segue into these buckles as well. Um, smooth glide buckles are, are a real thing. They s slide right off when you want them to. Um, and this is actually a dual component buckle where we use plastic teeth instead of metal because plastic on plastic won't strip out your ladder straps as much. So it's a more advanced buckle than you see on a lot of our line. Um, on the footbed of this thing, a new feature for it this year is something called AutoCant. There's actually a softer EVA on the inside of your foot, harder on the outside, so it'll naturally cant your foot. It's a little different than some other systems out there that'll come canted because it basically adapts to your stance width, which is really nice. So rather uh, than using a thicker foam on the outside than the inside, you actually use a dual density yep. foam. Indeed, this binding also has a little bit of B3 gel in the heel. It's known to be a gel that won't harden under super cold conditions, so it uh, won't just turn into a block of ice under your heel, which is nice. It'll always just be that soft, cushiony gel right there. Very cool. Um, and you said, again, more your intermediate to advanced level kind of park guy. Yep, definitely. Um, this binding is awesome in the park. It also works kind of all around, but it's definitely geared more for that uh, person that's going to be ollieing, going to be jibbing, going to be uh, taking this thing off jumps. It's meant to take a beating. And a uh, really cool feature here, too, that we almost forgot to talk about was the ASIM yep. strap. This is a strap developed a couple years back to just really cup the outside of your boot here. Um, it's also something that's customizable. Uh, you can actually take this out, flip it around to the other foot, and the larger part of the ASIM strap will be down lower on your boot, and it's a whole, whole different world when you flip it down there. Some guys like it up, some guys like it down, um, but pretty much everybody loves this binding. So. so it kind of allows you to customize the flex of the binding almost as well, right? Yep, definitely. Different, different feel kind of. For sure. Very cool. Well, there you have it. That's the uh, Burton Malavita EST. Um, great, great choice for your freestyle guy looking for an intermediate to advanced level board to put on the channel boards. Um, really gives you that extra feel of the board. Um, really helps you maximize that feel from your channel board. So check it out on Snowmerge.net. Thanks for watching the Morning Shred.